Well guys, it's, uh, welcome to Tuner Profile. Uh, Bo again, this is another one of my cars. As you know what happened with the last Corolla CVT, that thing took a dump dump. Um, and uh, so, which led me to look for another car. And uh, this is what I got. It's the 2022 Toyota GR86. This is the uh, six speed automatic. So it's got the TX6A transmission, uh, which is actually a Toyota trans Ison transmission that's been around for a while. Um, I don't mind automatic. I didn't have a preference automatic or manual automatic because I usually I'm just a cruiser, so I don't really need to have that full driver engagement. So when I test drove this, it was it was awesome. Um, and just for further context, this car was my first sports car, like first rear wheel drive sports car. You know, my past cars have been, you know, Forester, Legacy, Honda Fit, all front wheel drive, all wheel drive vehicles. Um, so those are, this is just a big change because my very first car was like a, a 98 six cylinder Mustang. That was my first rear wheel drive and I got into a lot of accidents with that just because I didn't understand the concept of rear wheel drive and, but yeah, there you go. And probably just being Asian as well. So this car has been great. The main purpose I bought this car was to have something I could drive every day and also take to like HPD events like once a year because I started getting into HPDE a couple years ago with the Corolla and that was not the right car to start it with, but it was fun. So this car has ultimately been just a great affordable car, a sports car that's just, it's very usable and you can learn with it. And you know, what I like about the automatic is like the paddle shifters, I don't have to take my hands off to shift and worry about misshifting, money shifting. Just focus on driving, feeling the car and then shifting with the, the paddles. They work great. If you want to check out my track, track sessions, you can see them, they're online now um, with the street setup. Uh, but anyways, getting into the mods. So the modifications I have on this car, it's on Raceland coilovers from the first gen. Um, I knew I got a lot of crap for that. They're like 550 brand new. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try them out. They've been great so far. You can't adjust the dampening, but they do have camber plates adjustments up top. Um, so you're able to get the alignment dialed in pretty easy. Um, it's uh, So it's lowered, lowered about 0.75 inches. So it's about a two finger gap. Factory is about three fingers. So now it's about two finger tight all around. And uh, they did great. The car, the car handled well. Uh, I also have Continental uh, DWS 06 Plus tires with the Enki 17 by 8 T6R wheels um, with 225 or yeah 225-45-17s. Um, these tires are great. They when I actually did the track event, it was in the cold, about 40 degrees, and it was wet. Uh, these tires did really good. Um, you know, I was still learning, so I wasn't pushing it hard. But from what I was trying to do. It did well. Um, all the modifications. Uh, well, first of all, you know, sh shout out to Cami Speed for also sponsoring uh, the parts for this vehicle as well. Um, I will show you. So the parts that uh, that I got from Cami Speed that you can go to Cami Speed now and get the items is the uh, parent engine cover, uh, the white line front strut bar. I also have the HKS floor mats, uh, the parent brake master cylinder brace. Um, and then also have the uh, Cusco adjustable end links. They're not installed yet, they're on the way. Um, but huge shout out to Cami Speed. Make sure you head to their shop to get any of your JDM goodies. Um, so they, they're a great shop located out of Florida. And uh, yeah, just, just hit them up. I've been using them even since when I had my Corolla hatchback. So great shipping, great service, great authentic products uh, from them. Um, uh, and so going over the mods, the coilover suspension, uh, I had the custom, this custom decal done by a local sign shop. I actually did the design in Photoshop and sent it over to Luke. Uh, they were able to look at it. I have a video on that you can watch. Um, they printed out. It was pretty awesome to, to see. The only thing I would change is the red is a little brighter than what I thought. It was like pretty much matched my picture. I didn't think it was going to be, I just knew it was going to be that bright. So if anything, I would just go a couple shades darker, more of like kind of like a candy apple red if I do decide to change it. But for now, I'm happy with it. Um, uh, the front lip, uh, rear diffuser, front lip is like a Tom's replica three piece. You know, these are, this is actually bought uh, by my brother. He got them for me for Christmas. It's a color matched um, and it's a three piece. I already got a chip here, if you can see. Whoopee, um, I hit something. Um, then I have the OEM mud guards. They're color matched for the front and rear. And then I have the STI style like aprons, side, side skirt pieces. Um, those are also color matched. And then the rear diffuser. Uh, which was also a gift from my brother uh, for my birthday. Um, it's a GT style rear diffuser. So they're, they go off and on off eBay, so I don't see them very often, but just keep an eye out and you can get them there. 
Um, and uh, other than that, uh, I do have the, as far as interior, I just, like I said, HKS floor mats uh, from Cami Speed. And then I have the, I do have the JBL subwoofer, bass hub subwoofer with the factory bass speaker. So it actually helps a lot. So I haven't got the OEM plus speakers yet because it's been pretty decent. So I haven't really had to hate it that much. Um, and so it's very doable. Uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, I plan to keep the car stock, um, nothing nothing major plan. Um, but things I love about this car though is just the price point and like you're gonna get, you have to remember the price that you're paying for this car, assuming you didn't pay a lot of markup. Um, you get a lot for your money. It's all in the performance of this aspect. So, so it's just, it's such a great driving experience. It just makes up for everything else. Um, because you can upgrade everything else that you don't like. So that's a good thing about getting the base model. Things I hate, I got used to the turn signals. I hated it at first, but now I don't mind. I've got, I've really gotten used to it. Um, so no issues there. The back seats are not still not usable, but unless your legs are paper. But other than that, um, you know, it's very usable car, uh, sports car. And I love that about it, you know, because the Miata is too small. There's really no other platform to compete against this besides the Miata. And it's just a smaller vehicle. Um, but yeah, the, but the, the, the lightweight of this car makes this car feel so fun to drive, whether it's fast or not, the numbers don't even matter, which is, it's just, I don't care about horsepower numbers. It's just the feeling of getting into a lightweight car and just taking it around turns and, uh, it's just, it's a feeling I never thought I had would ever feel before. And uh, so it's just nice to be in something like this and to drive every day. I mean, I look forward to just driving, even though it takes premium gas. Um, it's just fun to take anywhere. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, there's not much I really hate about it. Uh, I guess regarding like RTV issues and stuff like that, um, I'm not too worried about it. I'm just, I'm keeping it stock as is. I'm not messing with it. I'm just going to drive it as intended. If something happens, it's under warranty. I don't plan, the, the car is, the engine and drivetrain is not modified in any way. I just have the remark axle back, but that's it. I'm not touching anything else. Letting it go. Um, as far as the stories you hear of people blowing their engines, you know, I don't, I don't know the full context, but as long as they're doing their maintenance and checking the oils, I mean, and there's no tuning involved, you know, unless Toyota can prove that and deny the warranty, I don't know what else you can do. But the, the thing I would recommend is just keep your eyes on your oil and your coolant at all times as a Subaru owner. In the past, that's just the main thing you can do is just keep your fluids full and keep your eye on that. And when it does happen, make sure you check your fluid before it goes into the dealers and, you know, make them let them get something in writing that the oil is full when they, before they do a diagnostic, whatever they do, so that they can't blame that you had low oil that caused your engine to blow, you know. Um, but other than that, psh, future mods, I don't really have anything. I just, I'm gonna enjoy the, uh, the car as is, uh, take it out to HPD events once a year, and that's it, I'm trying to save up uh, and try to get my own place now, so that's, that's the next goal really, you know, at this point. Um, just being better with budgeting and, and money stuff. So uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and this is my 2022 GR86. Thanks for watching Tuner Profile. We'll see you on the next video. La 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 la.